Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman 3 and the Escalations. And today's Escalation is the Terms Infatuation set in Santa Fortuna. And this is a three level Escalation, starting with level one. And all we have to do is kill Hector Delgado with a letter bomb parcel. And we also have to retrieve the letter bomb first. So for level 1, all that we'll be bringing with us will be a silenced pistol and we will be starting in the mansion basement as a waiter and there is no chance of a silent assassin rating for this. So right from the start and off the bat, what we're going to do is make our way into the corridors behind this rec room here, pull out our silenced pistol and embrace the John Wick approach. So we're just going to eliminate absolutely everybody in our path. Anyone who's going to be in our way. So that includes the two guards in the corridor. And the counterfeiter or the forger and his guard. We'll take out the surveillance system while we're here. Grab up this guard's gun. We may need the ammo. We're going to collect the safe combination code from the desk and open the safe with it and retrieve the letter bomb. So with that taken care of, all we have to do now is make our way up to uh, Hector Delgado. And I've just noticed that there is this guy here, the guy with the love letter. So we're gonna take him out as well. Now the nearest exit available to us for this will be either the sports car or the boat and we require a key for each of them so we're going to take the boat exit and for that we're going to require ourselves the boat key which is up in Rico Delgado's bedroom so we're just going to avoid that one enforcer there now there is another enforcer waitress or housekeeping staff and that's her right there so we're going to take her out and we're just going to hide in this cupboard until her body is discovered the panic ensues and then everybody goes back to normal and the body is removed and we can then casually just walk through the bedroom up to Rico Delgado's bedside table and collect the boat keys. So with that taken care of we can now proceed with our assassination. So the easiest way is to run back down the stairs and back through the window of the trophy room or the museum or whatever you want to call this room and we're going to run right through the building in a straight line straight through the main entrance hall and into the other rec room here and out the far side of the building and up the stairs and that is just to avoid some enforcers that are up on this balcony area we don't want to be killing people unnecessarily but once we're in Hector Delgado's room we will then select our explosive parcel and we're going to place it on the corner of the desk right there and eventually Hector Delgado will make his way over to the desk and he will actually stand at that spot where we've placed the parcel at some point but we just need him roughly in the vicinity of the desk and he's about to walk past it so once he gets level with our explosive package we're going to detonate the package and make good our escape so the reason being there's no silent assassin for this is that eventually someone will come along and find that body uh, we could remove the body and hide it in a cupboard but that we wouldn't have enough time basically from people come running from the explosion so we're just going to make our way straight to the boat and our exit so that is a level one taken care of and it's a relatively easy one if you're not worrying about avoiding people so moving on to level two and we have a wild card thrown at us and some things have been moved or replaced and in this case it's a couple of extra enforcer guards 
So just like in the first level, the only thing we'll be bringing with us will be our silence pistol once again and once again also starting in the mansion basement as a waiter. So right from the start and off the bat for level 2, what we're going to do is essentially exactly what we just did in the first level. So we're going to pull out our silence pistol once we're into the corridors here, eliminate everyone in our pathway into the counterfeiting room, eliminate everyone in here, take out the surveillance system. We're going to collect up the safe combination code and the guard's gun just in case we need the ammo. So once we have the code we can access the safe and retrieve the letter bomb. So from here once again we're going to make our way up to Rico Delgado's bedroom and retrieve the boat key just like we did in the first level. Just be aware that uh, Catalina Delgado is wandering around and she is an enforcer and basically we want to get this done without being compromised. So eliminating people is the easiest option. So there is Catalina Delgado. We're going to make our way around into her changing room. We're going to eliminate the um, waitress or housekeeping staff out in the bedroom and we're going to hide in the cupboard and wait for everything to blow over and go back to normal. So at this point again we're just going to avoid Catalina. We are going to wait for that enforcer in front of us, the guard there to move away and we can then approach the bedside table, retrieve the keys, make our way back down the stairs and back into the museum room via the bathroom window and then we're going to proceed to run straight through the building and out the other side just like we did before. Now at this point things will change ever so slightly as we now have two extra guards outside Hector Delgado's room or there's one extra guard I believe and one patrolling guard. So both of these guys are going to have to go. So the patrolling guard is easy enough to take care of we can just shoot him at any point. I'm going to wait for him to make his way back along on his routine back to where he was. After I investigate whether I can actually avoid him and the other enforcer and get to Hector without having to kill anyone else. And unfortunately it does not look like I can. Although Thinking about it right now, this second, an idea has literally just occurred to me that I could put the letter bomb here. Because Hector Delgado does frequent that area. But I didn't think of that at the time of recording, so we're going to resort back to plan A. And that is eliminate that guy there. Unfortunately I was spotted. But if we can get this guy safely unconscious and then dead before he raises any further alarm we are not compromised so we can just make our way into the bathroom here we're going to wait in this closet we don't actually have to wait in the closet I just feel safer in there we're going to wait for the panic to calm down and the body to be removed and then we're going to make our way back up to Hector Delgado's room now this time what we're going to do is we're going to take out the guard in the room uh, luckily for me he's currently stuck out of position but he should be on the other side of this wall we're stood next to but luckily he's not so we can take him out with, without Hector seeing us otherwise we'd have to make our way into the bedroom wait for Hector to have his back turned and then shoot the guard so again we're just going to make our way back down the stairs back into the closet in the bathroom and wait for everything to calm down once again and I'm only doing it this way for the purposes of the video so that we can see the explosion now you don't really have to do that you could plant the explosive in the bathroom wait for Hector to go into the bathroom and detonate it then but I am a stickler for the theatrics 
and I'd like to see the explosion in slow motion. So we're just going to wait now for Hector to make his way over to the desk. Unfortunately, I'm stood right in his way. So we're just going to move off to the side here. Sorry, sir. My bad. You appear to have lost something. Would you like to know what and where it is? I believe it is a love letter to Andrea Martinez and it's currently on the floor in the corridor in the basement. But as Hector Delgado approaches the desk, we can once again detonate our explosive. Everybody's going to come running to that spot. And we are going to run in the opposite direction, down the stairs, out the back doors, and to our awaiting boat. So that is two levels taken care of now. Both of them are relatively easy, especially using the John Wick method. So we will now move on to level 3 and our escalation or our complication for level 3 is quite a nasty one. We can't get spotted doing anything suspicious or illegal, it's an instant fail if we do. And the other complication is that only the mansion exits are available which are the speedboat and the fast car. And since we're going for the speedboat exit, that's not a problem. So for level 3, just like in the previous levels, we're going to start at the mansion with our silenced pistol. And right from the start, we are going to exit our blend spot here in the rec room or the bar area. Make our way into the corridors. Now this time, we're going to have to be a bit more cautious about how we do our killing. So we're going to hug the wall here and we're going to shoot the who would normally be an enforcer in the head but they are both enforcers and we're going to make our way into the money room here and we're going to hide in this crate now the reason we're definitely going to hide in this crate is because this is where the dead guards and guns and bodies will be brought to so we need to wait for all of the body cleanup to be taken care of before we head back outside but once we do we can then shoot the second guard in the head just giving the limping guard a chance to get away uh, this time we're going to make our way over to the forging room and we're going to take out the guard in this room as well then make our way back to the money counting room and once again hide in the crate for the bodies to be cleared away and this is the easiest way to avoid anyone seeing us so once the bodies have all been cleared away once again we can then exit our crate make our way back to the forging room and we can take out the forger and the cameras before collecting our prize Forger's right here, we're just going to snap his neck, there we go mate, so we're going to take out the surveillance system, we can't collect up the guard's gun this time, even though the guard is still here, his gun is not, for whatever reason, so we're going to collect the safe combination code, access the safe and retrieve the letter bomb, and then we're going to make our way just like we have done in the previous two levels to Rico Delgado's bedroom where we will eliminate the uh, housekeeping staff and collect up the boat key. Or if you so wish, if you want to take the car, you can wait for Rico Delgado to enter this area and then shoot him. Now, as you can see, Catalina is in our way at the moment, so we're just going to wait around the corner here for her to exit her changing room and she's going to move off and down the central staircase so as she moves away we can make our way into the changing rooms we're going to select our silence pistol and we're going to eliminate the housekeeping staff lady just as the doors close, that was ideal so we're going to wait in the closet here for her body to be removed and everybody to go back to their usual routine. 
no enforcers around that's awesome so we can now make our way through Hector's room uh, sorry Rico's room collect up the boat keys and retrace our steps back downstairs just like we've done in the previous level essentially everything we do in this run through for level 3 is the same as we do for level 2 except hopefully this time we won't get uh, seen shooting one of the guards because that will result in an instant fail and we'll have to start all over again so once we've made our way right through the building and back up the balcony stairs on the far side here we are just going to check for that patrolling guard downstairs and then shoot the enforcer at the far end there make our way down the stairs and into the bathroom cabinet or closet and we're just going to wait here for the panic to calm down and the body to be removed and before we exit our hidey hole make our way back upstairs once again as you can see the enforcer is currently taking the body away the enforcer guard in Hector's room so we have an opportunity to get up to Hector's room and plant our explosive while the other enforcer who would usually be stood just by the desk here he's currently out of our way so we're going to utilize his this opportunity while he's absent to plant our letter bomb and this time we'll make our way back down the stairs and into the garden area just off to our right in fact no in, we will wait right here we'll get a better view right here so we're just going to wait for Hector Delgado to approach the desk and then trigger our explosive there we go it's a shame if the bathroom door was open we could blow him clean into the bathroom so once the explosive has been detonated we're going to take this slightly longer route through the garden area to the boat just to avoid the one enforcer waiter who is literally just behind us behind the hedge and even in panic mode he can spot us so there we go that is one more escalation taken care of with no silent assassins to speak of, I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.